We're often asked about our preferred superpower. Some people would love to be invisible or mind readers or be able to teleport, whilst others just want to be as free as a bird and fly. Perhaps inspired by the Jetsons cartoon with flying cars. Well, now you can. Jetson is a single person transportation device founded by a team of enthusiasts with the goal of making a life sized drone. But what is Jetson and how are they revolutionizing transport? Here's how it happened. Firstly, what is Jetson? Well, it's a drone big enough to fit a human that has a 20 minute flight time and can travel at speeds of up to 63 miles an hour. The company was founded in 2017 by Swede Peter Turnstrom and Paul Thomas Patter and is headquartered in Sweden. Initially, the business was known as Jetson Aero before shortening to Jetson with a goal of making safe, personal, electric vertical takeoff and landing or eVTOL aircraft available to everyone. They initially started with a prototype, their proof of concept, which they finished in spring 2018, flying the drone both empty and crewed shortly after. They then progressed to making the drone commercially viable. With an H configuration fuselage, the drone has propellers and electric motors on each corner, meaning that if one motor fails, the aircraft can still make a safe landing. The Jetson 1 eVTOL aircraft was the second generation and will be the first production model for consumers and first shipments are due to be made next year to the customers who have already placed orders from around the world. The kit, which costs $92,000, is delivered partially assembled to be completed at home. This might sound scary, but the drone is fully packed with safety features such as a complete propulsion redundancy, triple redundant flight computer, an aluminium and carbon fiber space frame roll cage, propeller guards, and a composite seat with a harness. Powered by eight brushless electric motors and lithium batteries which put out 118 horsepower, Jetson's drone sets out to be the future for personal transport. At least for short distances with a maximum range of approximately 20 miles if traveling at maximum speed, although its exchangeable battery system allows for quick recharges. The pilot flies the drone with a throttle lever, joystick and a pair of pedals with a smartphone like dashboard likely with speed, altitude and battery status information. New owners get a two day crash course to learn how to fly before being allowed to take home their purchase. If you do freeze and let go of the controls for any reason, the triple redundant flight computers will either hover the drone in place or perform an emergency landing. It also comes packed with a LiDAR tracking system to avoid obstacles and if all else fails you can pull an emergency ballistic parachute. The aircraft itself is small, just 2.8 meters by 2.4 meters, weighing in at just 86 kilos. The question remains as to what license you need to fly it, as it will likely be classed as an experimental or ultralight aircraft. As is the case with all early movers, there are faults that can be highlighted, such as the short range or motor endurance, where the heavier you are, the less fun you're allowed to have. You might only get 15 minutes before the batteries need charging again. Then there's the price. $92,000 is a lot of money for such a short flight, especially when it's just a one person vehicle. I guess everyone else can just watch you having fun from the ground. The build time is also slow, with just three slots left for their 2023 orders. You also have to be confident enough to build it yourself. But being the first mover in the market, Jetson may just be providing inspiration and paving the way for a company with deeper pockets to improve the design and achieve economies of scale to lower the price. But having said all this, it is real. You can have your very own personal drone in your garage in just two years, and whilst Jetson's goal is to make everyone a pilot, this first version is going to be more about having fun and mucking around. It also means that you'll have to think of another superpower as you'll now be able to fly. And that's how it happened. Thanks for watching.